Well, hello and welcome to Greenwood and Tustin Legacy. My name is Michael Battaglia. I'm Vice President of Project Development for Cal Atlantic Homes Southern California Coastal Division. And welcome. Uh, we really cherish the relationship we have with Brightview. Uh, over the years, we've done a lot of new home communities with them here in Orange County, uh, but this one is particularly special for us. It's really about the collaboration and the vision that we both shared coming into this that resulted in the community you see behind us. The natural landscape uh, really serves to um, create a palette for us as we're designing communities uh, from the trees that we select to the ground planes. Um, it, it really helps us understand the ecosystems that are brought into communities such as this. Uh, and, but at the same time, it not only creates the composition, but it also helps us meet regulatory guidelines. Here at Greenwood, we spent a lot of time planning this new community with Brightview. We had a vision, we worked together to collaborate, to come up with the themes of the agrarian approach, the themes to the military history here in Tustin, and it really came out in the design and how we executed the design build portion of this new community. From a homeowner's perspective, uh, one of the approaches that we use uh, from a regional standpoint is we give them a palette, right? They have a palette they could choose from that on, not only is ornamental, because that's what they're looking for, but it's a, it done in a responsible fashion. So tying the landscape and the palette into the environment creates a palette that residents can pull from that are gonna in turn be sustainable as well. So they're designing front and rear yards that tie into the overall theme of the community. In working with Mark and his team, we spent a lot of time trying to understand how the landscape palette fits in with the water issues we have here in Southern California. And frankly, we wanted to do something very different and really focus on a drought tolerant palette that really is acceptable to the homeowners and to the homeowners association for the ongoing maintenance. And we were very successful in that design and you can see that behind me in some of the pictures. As we're designing landscapes, we have maintenance in mind, right? We're thinking two, five, ten years down the road and the plant material that is selected uh, based on the location of the site is one consideration, but as we design, we're also keeping maintenance in mind so that we're using plant material that is appropriate and to the scale of uh, the areas it's being used. Through the master planning of the community, we had three influencing factors. Uh, the military heritage of Tustin, the agricultural uh, component, as well as the natural history uh, of the hillsides that influence Tustin Legacy. As homeowners started to move in to Greenwood, uh, we actually brought Mark Carlos and his team out on Saturdays to come out and share that vision so that the homeowners could really understand our commitment to water savings and drought tolerant planting and Mark was able to share the vision on how that comes together and how we're actually conserving water out here with the lush landscaping that we have. So as landscape architects, these are just some of the elements that we use on a daily basis as we're designing and creating uh, unique spaces. And uh, some of the items we've touched on are things that homeowners at a different scale could use as well. 